you know, before we go, I just want to say, I just want to say thank you to you because you introduced me to um, my newest uh, movie director. That I'm going to watch all of his films that he brings out. Ari Aster. You know Ari Aster? <laughs> oh, He's well, the director for uh, Midsommar. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> he, he also did uh, Hereditary. Hereditary, man. Hereditary was the first one I watched. Yeah. I pissed my fucking pants, bro. Bro. I pissed my man, pants. His movies, I mean, I love it. I love it. I love his it's, horror. It's, it's scary, man. Honest, I haven't been traumatized. You know what? It's, trauma- it's, it's exactly traumatizing. It's exactly that. It's traumatizing. It's fucking traumatizing. It's got, oh, it's, my it's, God. Not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not jump scares. It's not none of the traditional way you feel when you watch a horror. It's worse. It's fucking worse, man. It's like, you know, the, the lead up to a jump scare. That it's that's the entire movie. It's a lead up, and you're waiting for something. You're like, please, just put me out of my fucking misery. It never happens. No. So that's hereditary, and then you have the fucking midsummer, which just you just you just know it's a bad fucking idea to be there. The music yeah. is fucking weird, yeah. you know. And then you know when you watch it back, you can see them slowly getting high, like 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 yeah. how you know they're oh man. And he, te- he foreshadows you hard out, and you still fucking watch it and scared. But the thing I like about his his movies, mm. it is traumatizing because uh, that's why I love horror movies. I love horror movies because it makes you feel differently than what other, any other movie can make you feel. And like I'm talking that. about the re- re- reaction you get mm. because the jump scares and all that shit. You can't even sit still in your chair. You know, oh, no yeah. other movie, action movie, can't do that. No, or drama no. or romance or any no. other genre can't do that by the horror but this hits different man his movie it's a different, different horror it's fucking it, different it's, man you know you know what he does really well it gets you sucked in because you you're not sure what's happening mm. most of the time like the story <laughs> is so is, is so good you know it, and, and you and it makes you so curious about what's fucking happening mm. And it just keeps taking you down this pathway, and then it just progressively just traumatizes you, and you just continue to to watch it still. You just continue to watch it still, and you're like, I am feeling very unsafe right now, but I need to know what happens at the end of this. He does that to you. He does that to you. Hereditary scared the shit out of me, man. Like Uh, the whole, just the entire thing, just the uh, setup, the how he portrayed the environment, even the music, the lighting, the the fucking imagery. You know that imagery. scene when um the the um the firemen in the house turning off the car and and that shot when the camera's going down the hallway, you see the sister's dead body on the side, but the camera's going towards the yeah the um the computer screen yeah and you can see the off but, to the side so, so it doesn't make it obvious right no. oh just, just but the whole hose going into her mouth hey you remember? know yeah no you know what Shit, freaked me out was was the was was when the mom started to get possessed. And then, like, there's different shots of him sort of sitting up in the bed. And then, oh, if yeah, you yeah. don't catch it, you don't see it. <laughs> but she's, like, fucking there on the wall. I'm getting fucking goosebumps right now <laughs> just fucking thinking about it, you know? If it really did, man, mm. i try to block that shit out. But it's still I, bad. I love, I love her hereditary, the angle he took it. Because if you if you think about the whole story, it's a, it's a cult, right? Yeah. It's a cult. And all it is is just the cult trying to get to the end, end game. Yeah, yeah, the whole thing was a setup. The yeah, whole, the whole, whole thing, thing was set up to get to the end game. Yeah, and that reminded me of I don't know if you watched them because uh, I read this um, little thing about the background of how he made that movie. It was because fa- one of his favorite horror movies when I was a kid was uh, Rosemary's Baby. Oh uh, yeah, uh, Rosemary's Baby is a similar sort of storyline where you have a cult mm. thinking that the baby's the son of Satan. Res- yeah, 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 yeah. So that cult, he used that cult, same sort of cult in Hereditary to do that same Yeah, but he fucked it up so much, he man. Up, he, man. He, like, just the whole, you know, even like the minor things, like everyone being naked, you know? <laughs> you know? And and that, that guy that was smiling all the time, mm. like that, um, oh, yeah. almost looked like an albino almost. But like, but like, he, he, like, you just, like, he just showed up at random scenes, you know? And, and, and you'd think, oh, it's just there to, to freak us out. Well, that motherfucker was there the whole time. You know, he, he was there. He was probably orchestrating it all, you know. <laughs> and then it, you know, there's the music and the build up, and he comes to the to the to the clubhouse, to to the treehouse, mm. and then it's just fucking everyone's yeah. there. Everyone's fucking there. <laughs> and then they're all naked, and they're all standing around, and you're fucking pissing yourself in your seat. It's like, oh my god, what did I just watch? Fucking Geo. His new one's coming out um, later this year. I'm probably not going to watch it, to be honest with really? you. Really. I'm I'm so tr- so I watch Hereditary first because my friend Josh, he he when he came over he said we should watch Hereditary, and he fucking just really he didn't he didn't really sell it to me he's just like we should just watch it fucking freak the shit out of me 
motherfucker. And um, and then someone, uh, well, it was, wasn't my sister or someone told me about Midsummer. It's this. Oh, actually, it might have been just Josh. He he told me about you know this is you know there's another one that the the director you should you should watch that too. And I didn't get around to it probably like until like maybe like a year later. You know, then I watched it and I was like, why, why did he make me watch this shit? It's good. Like like don't get me wrong, it is good. Like it did whatever it needed to do, it succeeded a hundred percent, you know. But holy shit, man! Like, like to still still get the same feeling now, you know? Yeah, it sticks in your it's still, like it like sticks there. The certain certain aspects of it yeah. was just like so fuck. I I re- I rewatch it. So no. I re- I rewatch it honestly. I rewatch it. I rewatch Hereditary the end part. Yeah, I rewatch that's just freaky, to, man. Cause I'm, I'm past the freakiness now, and I'm I'm just watching it just to like remember how I felt, but mm. it doesn't come back to me. No. <laughs> well, well, I'm glad I'm glad that you enjoyed my my <laughs> my suggestion. I forgot how that came through. 